Hello everyone, and welcome back to the next gen tech hacks. Today, we're diving into a challenge that I reckon quite a few of you might be wondering about, is it actually possible to get Windows 11 running on an older laptop? Specifically, I've got my trusty HP Pavilion 15N013TX here, a machine that's getting on a bit it's about 11 years old. Now, most folks would probably say, no chance, mate, but I'm here to show you exactly how I managed it, and how this old workhorse is now running the latest Windows. Our main goal was to get Windows 11 purring along nicely on this vintage bit of kit. And let me tell you, it wasn't just a software fiddle, some crucial hardware upgrades, like popping in an SSD and more RAM, were absolutely essential. So, stick with me, because the transformation, and how I got Windows 11 on here, is pretty brilliant. The before, my 11-year-old laptop's original guts. So, let's kick off with the before. This is the HP Pavilion 15N013TX, just as it was when it first came out, roughly 11 years back. It was a decent machine for its day, but blimey, technology moves fast, doesn't it? Originally, it was packing these specs. The model was HP Pavilion 15N013TX. Processor-wise, it had an Intel Core i5-4200U, that's a 4th gen, running at 1.6 GHz. RAM, a modest 4 GB of DDR3. Storage, 1 TB hard disk drive, a slower 5400 RPM one. Operating system, it came with Windows 8 Pro, the 64-bit version. And for graphics, an NVIDIA GeForce 740M with 2GB of DDR3 memory. Now, for Windows 11, these specs throw up some proper hurdles. The 4th gen CPU isn't officially supported, and the real kicker, this laptop had no TPM 2.0 whatsoever, which is a strict must-have for Windows 11. It was pretty clear, a straightforward upgrade was a non-starter without some serious tinkering. The big makeover, upgrading the HP Pavilion 15N013TX. Right, before we even dreamt of Windows 11, the first vital step was to give this laptop a good internal sortout with some specific hardware changes. These upgrades are key to breathing new life into any older machine. First things first, that original 1TB hard disk drive was, without a shadow of a doubt, the biggest bottleneck. A typical 5400 RPM hard drive gives you read and write speeds of about 70 to 100 megabytes per second. That's alright for just storing files, but not for a snappy operating system. So, I swapped it out for an SSD, a Samsung 870 EVO to be precise. This SATA SSD can hit speeds of up to 560 megabytes per second for reads and 530 for writes. That's a massive 5 to 7 times faster. Let's just quickly compare those storage speeds. The original 5400 RPM hard drive, around 70 to 100 megabytes per second for both reading and writing. The Samsung 870 EVO SSD, up to a whopping 560 megabytes per second for reading and 530 megabytes per second for writing. The difference this made to boot times and opening programs is just night and day, genuinely transformative. Next up, the RAM. While for gigabytes was just about scraping by for Windows 8, Windows 11 really likes a bit more memory to play with. So, I upgraded the RAM to its maximum of 16 gigabytes of DDR3. My laptop had two slots, and I filled them both. More RAM means much smoother multitasking. And finally, I wanted to keep hold of my original 1TB hard drive for extra storage. So, I took out the old DVD drive, let's be honest, who uses those much anymore? And popped in an HDD caddy. This let me slot the original hard drive in its place. So now I've got the best of both worlds, a lightning fast SSD for the operating system and programs, and the big old hard drive for all my files. Ok, let's chat about the official Windows 11 requirements. For these, I'm finding information on the official Microsoft website. Microsoft's pretty particular about what you need. Processor, needs to be 1 GHz or faster with 2 or more cores. Officially, that means Intel 8th Gen and newer, or AMD Ryzen 2000 series and newer. 
RAM, at least 4 GB. Storage, 64 GB or more. System firmware, UEFI, and secure boot capable. TPM, this is a big one, trusted platform module version 2.0. Graphics card, DirectX 12 or later, with a WDDM 2.0 driver. Display, a high-definition, 720p, display a one bigger than 9 inches diagonally, with 8 bits per color channel. Now, let's see how my laptop stacks up against these, looking at its original state and then after I'd fitted the new SSD and RAM. First up, the processor. The HP, both originally and after the hardware tweaks, has the i5-4200U, 4th Gen. Windows 11 officially wants an Intel 8th Gen or newer. Next, RAM. Originally, it had 4GB of DDR3. After the upgrade, it's got a healthy 16GB of DDR3. Windows 11 needs at least 4GB. Storage. It started with a 1TB hard drive. After the SSD upgrade, it now has a 250GB Samsung 870 EVO SSD as its main drive. Windows 11 requires 64GB. TPM, Trusted Platform Module. The HP, both before and after, has no TPM 2.0. It does have TPM 1.2, but that's not what Windows 11 is after. Windows 11 strictly requires TPM 2.0. Secure Boot The HP, in its original and current state, supports Secure Boot via UEFI. Windows 11 needs it to be Secure Boot capable. Graphics The NVIDIA G4740M is what it had, and still has. Windows 11 needs DirectX 12 WDDM 2.0. And the display. It's got a 1366 by 768 screen, which it's always had. Windows 11 asks for HD, 720p, and over 9 inches. So, as you can tell, even with those important upgrades to the RAM and storage, the laptop's original 4th Gen i5 processor and its distinct lack of TPM 2.0 are still, officially speaking, deal breakers. And yet, here we are Windows 11, running rather nicely on this very machine. So, how on earth did I manage to install Windows 11 with these official roadblocks? Well, the secret source involves downloading the official Windows 11 ISO file directly from Microsoft, and then using a clever bit of software called Rufus. This lets you create a bootable USB stick that cleverly sidesteps the strict TPM 2.0 and CPU checks during the installation. I've already got it all installed and running, but if you fancy a detailed, step-by-step -step guide on how to do this bypass yourself, just let me know down in the comments. The laughter, Windows 11 performance on the spruced up HP Pavilion. Right then, the exciting bit, the laughter. Let's have a look at Windows 11 doing its thing on this supposedly unsupported at 11-year-old machine. As you can see, the new user interface, the updated start menu, and all those slick animations are present and accounted for, and feeling pretty smooth. Opening programs is incredibly quick now, all thanks to that SSD upgrade. And with 16 gigs of RAM, multitasking is an absolute doddle. I can have loads of browser tabs open, run my usual productivity software, and even play a few light games without any bother at all. It genuinely feels like a much newer laptop. I'm showing the performance of my laptop using Geekbench 6 results. When I compare the result, a high-end PC had 22% more performance for both the CPU and graphics. Also, I'm using Windows 11 Task Manager to show the CPU, SSD, HDD, graphic, and RAM usage to give you a real-time look at how it's performing. Let's quickly sum up how the laptop performs now, with those key hardware upgrades and the Windows 11 bypass in place. Processor, original, not physically changed. It's still the i5-4200U, 4th Gen. Windows 11 officially wants Intel 8th Gen or newer. The result is, we've bypassed this requirement for an unofficial installation. RAM, this was physically upgraded. Now has 16GB DDR3. Windows 11 needs for gigabytes. The result is, a definite pass, it actually exceeds the requirement.
storage, physically upgraded to an SSD. Now a 250GB Samsung 870 EVO SSD. Windows 11 needs 64GB. The result is, another pass, well over the minimum. HDD SSD speed, this is a direct result of the storage upgrade. The original hard drive speed was about 70 to 100 megabytes per second. The new SSD speed is around 560 megabytes per second for reading and 530 megabytes per second for writing. Graphics The NVIDIA G4740M is what it had, and still has. The result is, a massive improvement. The original laptop felt very slow. After the upgrades and installing Windows 11. It's now blazing fast. The result is, excellent. So, there you have it. With the right hardware tweaks to crucial bits like the storage and RAM, and with bypass for the CPU and TPM hurdles, this 11-year-old laptop isn't just limping along with Windows 11, it's absolutely flying. So, what are the good bits about taking on a project like this? Well, it seriously extends the life of an old laptop. It's a heck of a lot cheaper than forking out for a brand new one. You get to use all the modern features and security bits of Windows 11. And it's a bit more environmentally friendly, isn't it, reusing perfectly good hardware. But there are a few things to bear in mind. You are running what Microsoft considers an unsupported setup. This means there's a theoretical chance of issues with future updates, though honestly, it's been pretty rare so far. You don't get the official security plus points that come with a proper hardware TPM 2.0 chip. And, at the end of the day, it's still limited by the raw power of that older CPU for really demanding stuff like heavy video editing or top-end gaming. So, who's this sort of upgrade really for? I'd say it's spot on for anyone who's got an older, but still decent, laptop they want to keep going a bit longer, someone who enjoys a bit of a DIY challenge, and needs a modern operating system without spending a fortune. And that's the story. Installing Windows 11 on an 11-year-old HP Pavilion 15 N013TX is definitely doable, and gives you a cracking result, all thanks to some smart hardware upgrades and the right workaround. If you found this video useful, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Next Gen Tech Hacks for more techy content, and don't forget to pop a comment below if you'd like that detailed guide on how to download and install Windows 11 on unsupported kit. Thanks ever so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.